All right, welcome back to Matt's Math and More. Today we're going to go over homework 8-8, and that is finding perimeter and area of a rectangle. Actually, this video is going to be just perimeter, and then there'll be a part 2. That'll be the next video. Uh, that'll be on area. That way we don't have a 20-minute long video right now. So today, this one, just perimeter. Next one, area. And don't worry about perimeter. We're going to do it nice and neat and beautiful, and you're going to be so organized, and it's going to be so beautiful. It'll be just like being in a nest full of little birdies. Okay, let's get started with perimeter. Now remember, perimeter is the the outside of any rectangle or square, actually any shape. I think about it like the fence in your lawn, like the perimeter of this square would be just the line around it. And that's in one dimension, it's just one line. So it's important to remember because when we get to area in the next video, it's going to be in two dimensions. This is just in one dimension. So for today's homework, here's what I suggest. Get yourself uh, two pieces of paper, one folded in quadrants. This is where you're going to keep all your like nice, neat formula, beautiful stuff. And then another piece of paper, that's for your work. That's where all the messy stuff goes. Beautiful, messy, somewhere in between. So check it out. Let's uh, pretend this is kind of what your home looks like. You have a uh, rectangle here with a length of 32, we'll give it inches, and a width of 10.3 inches, and you have to find the perimeter and the area. Let's stick with perimeter for now. So that's your homework. Let's go to your nice, neat sheet of paper. Whenever we're finding perimeter, I always want you to use your formula line first. Perimeter equals 2L, so two lengths, plus two widths. That's your formula. Two lengths plus two widths. And if you look at it, the perimeter is two lengths. Like here's one length. Here's another length. That would be the two lengths. And here's the two widths. One width and another width. And add, all add it all together. That's the perimeter of your object. So we'll do some substitutions on this piece of paper. I want to see P equals, let's see, the length is 32. So it's going to be 2 times 32, you'd make it PEMDAS style, just put it in parentheses there, plus 2 times 10.3. I guess you could add them too, you could do 32 plus 32 and 10.3 plus 10, however you work that mathematically, whichever is easiest for you. Now I can get rid of this, I'm, not, I'm done with that for now. Here's my uh, paper. Now. I've got some work to do, 2 times 32 and 2 times 10.3. Don't do it here. Keep this nice and beautiful. Do it over here. All right, we'll do 32 times 2. I just used the commutative property. I didn't want to do 2 times 32. I wanted to do 32 times 2. That's a 4. Oh, 64. That wasn't so hard. 64 plus, and then 2 times 10.3. So 10.3 times 2. Uh, this won't be so hard either. 2 times 3 is 6, that's a 0, that's a 2, 1 power of 10, 1 power of 10, 20 and 6 tenths. That wasn't too hard. Okay, so now you have three lines, a formula line, a substitution line, this line here where you did your multiplication, and then your last line, which would be your solution line. This is just where you show the end result. So you'd go back over here and do 64 plus 20 and 6 tenths. Make sure you're lining up these decimal points. 64 doesn't have a decimal, so you add one at the end. This is very important. Then we have a 6, a 4, that was 84.6. And we said that this one was in inches. So that's 84.6 inches. That's it for your homework. Now, you might have decimals. You might have fractions that you have to add, in which case you'll have to find uh, common denominators before you add. And then you have to simplify at the end. And if you have any questions about those, just go back to some of the older uh, Matt's Math & More videos on adding and subtracting fractions. That'll show you how to do it. But anyway, as far as perimeter goes, uh, write your formula. Keep it nice and neat on this piece of paper. Write your messy math on this piece of paper. Have your answer on this piece of paper. I almost forgot the last uh, most important part. Take the work that you did, go back to your homework, and put that answer 
84 and 6 tenths inches on your homework. So now you've got perimeter all set. Ooh, a nest full of little birdies.